All right, so after clicking login, what this does is takes us to our Real Comp Online homepage. And we call this a customizable homepage. And the reason we call it customizable is because of these widgets. And essentially what these widgets are, are their quick access to other features within the Real Comp Online system. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that by going through each widget one by one. And we're not going to spend too much time on them, actually. What we're going to do is we're, uh, we're actually going to refer to them uh, later on as we go through the, as we go through the system. Uh, the two that I am going to concentrate on are Hot Sheets and Market Watch, but we're just going to uh, sort of gloss over the other ones and we'll refer back to them throughout this presentation. All right. So the very first uh, widget that we see is the news widget. And the news widget is actually a static widget. So as you can see, when I click down on it, I can't move it. It's uh, statically located in the corner, in the top left corner. And the reason for that is because it's a very important widget. This is where the news items, uh, important news items, sometimes daily news items will appear that the MLS has chosen uh, to bring to your attention. So we don't want that, uh, that widget minimized or disappearing. So that's always static in the top left corner. Uh, if you are interested in taking a look at any of the news items, simply just click on the link and it will open up the news item for you. Uh, also, when you first enter the system, if there's a new news item, uh, there's one of two options that you may see. You may see uh, a news item that is a standard news item that would look something like this. And you may also see a, another news item uh, that has a, a yellow ribbon at the top. And the yellow ribbons at the top uh, essentially just suggests that it's a important news item and it needs to be read. So at the bottom of the news item, you'll see two options, one to read it now and one to read it later. So if on these, uh, these new news items, if you would like to read it uh, later, perhaps just click on the read later button and it will pop up the next time that you enter the system. So underneath the uh, news uh, item widget, we see a concierge. And essentially what a concierge is, it's a, it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, what we have in the Real Comp Online system are what we, uh, what we refer to as client uh, portals. And a client portal essentially is a repository of all correspondence between an agent and a client. For example, auto emails, direct emails, driving directions perhaps. Uh, we have a lot of different correspondence options, but let's take a look at specifically the auto emails. When a, a group of criteria has been created for a specific client, uh, we as an agent would like to send uh, clients new listings as they appear in the system. So those listings, uh, every single time they appear in the system, will be collected and sent to the client. Well, with the concierge service, what we do is we uh, essentially allow the agent the ability to cherry pick which listings get sent to the client before they're actually sent. So it's a, essentially a holding area uh, for the agent to review the listings before they're actually sent to the client. And we're going to get more into that a little bit later on as well. Underneath, uh, underneath concierge is my carts. Now, essentially, my carts are created every single time a new contact is created in the system. So an agent does not have to actually create a new cart. It's automatically created with every new contact. And the reason why an agent may, uh, may appreciate the carts is as an agent is working on a specific client, uh, perhaps they're doing a search for a specific client, and in that search, they'll see listings that would be perfect for another client. Well, what we do is uh, we give them the ability to place those listings into a cart for uh, use at a later time. So it's it's a great way to collect listings for uh, for a client, again, to be used at, uh, at, at another uh, point in time. And we're gonna get into carts as well a little later on. Uh, my favorite searches. Uh, essentially, what we do is we give the agent the ability to collect uh, 10 of their most favorite searches and keep them on the home page for quick access uh, later on. So when they first enter the system, if it's a search that they use quite often, there it is on their home page waiting for them. Uh, and again, this is a limit of 10, but uh, we can create as many save searches uh, as we'd like, but it's a limit of 10 on the home page. The other thing I want to bring to your attention is the update all uh, link down here at the bottom. When you click the update all, what it will essentially do is uh, update the save searches and show you the number of new listings that have appeared since the last time you clicked on that update all uh, link. So if I want to uh, run any of these searches, I would simply just click on 
uh, the link. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in this particular search. I would just click on the link and it would take me to those listing results. All right. The, uh, the next one is the hot sheets. And of course, we have the market watch uh, underneath that. We're going to get to those in, uh, in just a couple of moments. Uh, the my listings widget. Well, the my listings widget is essentially just a collection of all the agents listings on the system. Up here in the corner, we have the recent use contacts. Well, every time an agent uses a contact in the system, it will take that contact's name and uh, and it will appear in the recent use contacts widget. Again, for quick use, uh, it, perhaps it's a contact that they're working with frequently. So it's, uh, it's again, just placed there for very quick access. Uh, recent portal visitors. Well, again, this is the client portal that I was referring to earlier. When a auto email or a direct email or uh, any perhaps driving directions are sent to a client, well, if the client visits their portal to view that correspondence with the agent, this is where their name will appear. And not only will their name appear, but it will also show when they visited their portal. Uh, the icons beside here, these are essentially what we'll get into a little bit later on. But this just uh, shows if any of the listings have been favorited or uh, put into the possibilities bucket in their client portal. And again, we're going to get into that uh, a little bit later on in the presentation. Uh, additional widgets. Well, I mentioned off the top that these are very customizable uh, widgets. That's a customizable home page. We, um, we have this many widgets at this particular point, but of course this could grow and it could easily overwhelm the page uh, of widgets that maybe uh, the, the agent doesn't use very often. So what we do is we give the agent the ability to uh, not only move the widgets around simply by clicking and dragging on the heading, but also closing the widgets that they may not use often. So where do they go when they close? Well, they go into the additional widgets widget. If at any point in time the agent would like to use any of those closed widgets, it's very simple to do. All they need to do is click on the widget that they'd like to use and drag it outside of the additional widget. All right, just like that. And here are the real comp links. Real comp links are essentially uh, added by the MLS and therefore generally quick access to pages outside of the real comp online system. All right, so the two widgets that I did want to get into in a little bit more detail here are the hot sheets and the market watch. And what a hot sheet is, is essentially it is, uh, it is a place for the agent to see all the changes of the system. So here we have, uh, we have residential, commercial, multifamily, vacant land, and cross property types. If I'm interested as an agent, if I'm interested in all the residential changes in the system, over the last day, all I would do is simply click on the residential link and that will show me all the changes in the system. So here we see we have pendings to sold, we have actives uh, to expired, we have uh, lots of different changes in the system. Well, as an agent, I may not be interested in every single change in the system. So what we do is we give the agent the ability to customize their hot sheet. So simply by clicking on the customize link here, the agent can go in and they can specify which property type, for example, that they're interested in looking at the changes for, which uh, change type they're interested in. So for uh, this agent, perhaps uh, they're only interested in seeing all new listings. If, um, if they're only interested in a specific period of time, then they can uh, simply in the days back type in the, uh, the number of days. So let's say, for example, as an agent, I'm looking for all new listings in the last two days. Well, I would go zero dash two. So zero being today and two being two days back. So what I'm saying here is I'm looking for all residential changes with new listings in the last two days. So I'm going to save this. And now when I click on my residential hot sheet, it will only show me the residential changes in the system uh, with new listings over the last two days. And we see that there's been 825 uh, new residential listings over the last two days. All right, one of the things that I'm asked quite often is, can we save multiple hot sheets? And the answer is absolutely. So what we're gonna do, instead of having to customize a hot sheet every single time we wanna see something, let's just do it once. So we run that search, and down at the bottom here is what we call a button bar. We're gonna be getting into that a little bit later on as well. But uh, at this point, 
Uh, just remember, all we need to do is with our search results, we're just going to click on Save and then New Save Search. And remember, this is a hot sheet search. This was a hot sheet search for brand new listings over the last two days. So I'm just going to call this hot sheet search uh, number one. And of course, an agent would come up with something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more creative. And I'm going to enable this as a favorite search on my home tab. And again, just to reiterate, we have uh, 10 spots available on our homepage uh, search widget. So this is going to occupy uh, one of those 10 and I'm going to click save. So now when I first enter the system, if I'm looking for uh, all new listings over the last two days uh, that are residential, then I would simply just scroll down to my favorite searches. And here it is right here, hot sheet search number one. And I would click on that and I would see all my uh, new listings over the last two days. All right, so now what if we wanted to do another hot sheet search? Well, that's uh, that's no problem. We can just customize the one that we just created. And perhaps this one, I'm looking for all price decreases. Um, and again, uh, over the last, say, five days. So we're going to do 0 0-5 and for all residential properties with a price decrease. So I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to run it. And here we see all the price change downs over the last five days. So again, just like in the first example, we're going to click on save and new save search. And let's call this one hot sheet search number two. All right. And again, we're going to enable this as a favorite search on the home tab. So this will be uh, another one of our 10 and we're going to save it. So now when I enter the system, and I'm looking for all new listings over the last two days. I would click on hot sheet search number one. If I'm looking for all price change downs over the last five days, I would simply click on hot sheet search number two, and that would take us to all our price decreases over the last five days. All right, so going back to the home page, uh, let's take a look at Market Watch. And essentially, what Market Watch uh, does is a, it's a uh, at a glance hot sheet. There's really nothing that a market watch will show you that a hot sheet wouldn't, with the exception of the fact that it's at a glance. So we can see all our new listings, all our back on markets, all our price decreases, etc., for residential properties over the last 24 hours. Well, of course, we can change the uh, 24 hours to if we just wanted to see all those, uh, all those, acti all that activity for today. If we wanted to see it for the last, for example, three days or if we want to see it for the last seven days, we could do that as well. But again, we can also customize. So if we want to click on the customize link, uh, we can customize it uh, again by the property type. And we can also go into uh, specific areas as well, just like on the hot sheet, we could go to uh, specific areas. Uh, but for now, uh, let's just uh, leave it like that and we'll click on save. And here's our customized market watch. So again, there's really nothing that a, a market watch uh, couldn't show you that a uh, that a hot sheet uh, could, but uh, but it's at a glance, so it's a, it will show you all that information all in uh, all at one glance.